What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to put the Part Shop Max or PBM subframe and diff risers in an FRS. Um, I realized halfway through making this video that I never recorded an intro, so that's why the bushings are already out and I got the new ones laying here. Yeah, I'm going to be doing the subframe risers. I'm going to be doing them with maximum rise, so you'll see what needs to be, you know, ground down as far as the subframe. I'm going to have my buddy weld in the... Uh, new diff bushings and then I still have to get the bushings of my diff yet uh, but I'll be covering everything that I need to do to do the install So now it's time to get the actual uh, new bushings in here. So the kit comes with two size bushings. There's a shorter one, there's a longer one, and these two are, yeah, they're different sizes. So the longer one is gonna be going into the front. So these ones are gonna be going in here, and then they should slide in pretty easy. Mine have a couple nicks uh, just from hammering the old ones out. And then the little bit shorter ones are gonna be going in here. Um, so I'm going to hammer these in here, and then I have to grind down the opposite side of the subframe. So I got my grinder out here. So basically what you have to do is you put the shorter bushings in the back here and then you just have to grind down all this material here so you grind it down like to where the weld is and then it allows the subframe to rise even further um, otherwise if you don't want to grind it down they do send like a spacer to fit in there it just won't raise the subframe as much so you can get started on that i got the tripod all set up so i'll record that So this is what it should look like after you're done grinding. Um, if you just look at like the pictures on the website, they have it ground down like right to where the bushing is. So I'm just gonna do that. And then um, once I pop these out, I'm gonna like clean up this edge here before I bring it to the powder coater. Hey guys, so my SD card for my GoPro is at home, so I can't film with that right now. Um, but I got the diff bushings out. I came over to Tyler's shop, Ark Asylum, and I was gonna manhandle these bushings out with a hammer and he ended up getting them out with an air chisel in like two minutes. Um, you just, you know, hit the flange over here, got them out in like a minute each, super easy. And then got these all lined up, so he's gonna get these welded in, and then that's all I have to do. Um, also with the axles, so when you run the subframe risers, 
the axles get super close to the subframe and normally you can just you know notch the subframe but what he's gonna do is cut this whole section out and then he's just gonna box it with some steel and weld it in for me so that should work out really well um, and I shouldn't have any clearance issues at all I'm super excited to get this done okay guys so I got the subframe back from my fab guy it is all epoxied up uh, he cut out some area for the axles to go through and then he rewelded some plates in, boxed it all out, um, as well as welding in the diff bushings. So that stuff is all set. Now I just have to put the diff together because um, he also did the diff cover and then I just painted the diff with some high temp paint so it looks a little nicer. Um, so I gotta get all that stuff back together and then gotta get the subframe back in the car. So the bushings just go into place. So with the subframe upside down on the ground, you just put them in this way. And again, the longer ones go in the, let's see, that'd be the front. So that side's just closer to the front of the car, so they go in there. Um, if they don't go in, if they don't just slide in, just give them a couple taps with a rubber mallet. And same thing with the ones in the back. These are just gonna slide in here. Easy as that. So when I took everything out, I took everything out at once. Uh, but with the subframe going back in, it's going to be pretty difficult to try and jack everything up at once. And I don't really want to scratch up the epoxy. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the subframe in first. Um, I have the bolts in there. He sandblasted those and then epoxy those as well. So I'm going to get the subframe up there. And then I'm going to use some blue thread locker. Um, to make sure that the bolts don't vibrate loose. I'm gonna get the subframe up in there and then I have to get the diff cover on. I also ended up getting a diff gasket. So if you don't like sealing things, I think I got this on 86 Speed or uh, 86 Sport or something like that, one of those websites. But it's a differential gasket for the FRS. And it's, it's nice because you don't have to seal it. You just have to make sure you get the surface really clean. Um, and then you don't have to worry about messing with like sealing it. And then if you ever take the cover off, you can take it off, put it back on, super easy. I think I'm just gonna lift the subframe up and then put the bolts in one by one. And then after the subframe is in place, then I'm going to go back and then put the Loctite in. So let's see how hard this is gonna be. I don't think it should be too bad because the subframe isn't too heavy by itself. Let's just sit here. Oh, and of course the one that I have access to, the bushing fell out. So let's get that guy in there. Like so. And then, let's get this out of the way. So the subframe is in. It's actually kind of a pain in the ass to get this thing held up square and then getting the bolts in. Um, I think it's just because the bolts were epoxied, but so the back bolts get two washers since I'm doing the maximum rising on the subframe. They get two of them and then the front get one and then that plate's gotta go back in. The support frame or support, whatever it is, I don't actually know. So that goes in. And then that's it. Subframe is in. So then for the diff, these are the, the diff bushings. So with your breather up top, so the top of the diff is this way, you want your bushings to go in this way. So you can see that the hole isn't recessed here, but it is here, it is for the uh, diff bolt. So this is actually gonna sit in here like that. So this has to go facing down like this. And then these should just kind of pop right in like so and then you can get the diff in there and then of course there's the two bolts for the back cover so the diff is in the diff actually raises so much that it hits the trunk floor so the diff actually pushed the floor of my trunk up um, i messaged pbm 
and they said to just hammer it out, but I figured, you know, if the dish is gonna push the trunk up, it pushes the trunk up. I don't feel like taking the diff back out and then hitting it with a hammer, but got the diff right against the subframe here. Just got the bolts in back here. I have to tighten those ones up, but it's in. But now I just have to fill the diff and everything. The uh, drive shaft looks like it's gonna clear everything. Um, just gotta get the exhaust on and everything and see how it all fits. But that is the PBM diff and subframe riser install. I hope this helps a lot of people. I haven't really seen any videos on YouTube showing on how everything goes, you know, and all of the little things you have to do, like, you know, hammering out this part of your trunk, hammering it up, because right now the diff is right underneath this. So the NVH on this car is gonna be absolutely insane since the diff's literally in contact with the body. Um, and things like grinding now the subframe and you know the welding and all that of course i didn't do the welding myself if i did i wouldn't want to drive the car because i'm not very good with a welder i just never really have done it a lot but yeah i really hope this helps anyone who wants to do the different subframe risers if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below or message me at my instagram thank you and have a good one